Do you have less than $100 to spend on a mechanical or quartz watch? Well, I got just the watch for you. Stay tuned. If I had one of my closest friends come up to me today and say, Skylar, I know you're the guru of watches, and I'm really looking for a quartz watch or a mechanical watch that's going to be sub 100. I don't have a big budget, or maybe they're just starting their collection and they want to just get their feet wet with one of the two. And they're looking for something that still will have quality within that budget range. So they're not wasting their money. My suggestion to them would be this. I would say, number one, I'm no guru. Guys, I'm just a passionate collector myself. These options that I'm giving you guys here today are just a suggestion. I would do your own due diligence and look at the specifications of the watches. Maybe look at some of the reviews to make sure that it fits up to the standards that you're looking for at the end of the day. Going back to it, I would say to my friend, if you're looking for a quartz watch, my recommendation would be the Casio Duro. The Casio Duro or the MDV 106 is a watch well known by many enthusiasts and it has been purchased in large quantities and has so far stand up to the test of time. Now, some call out things on that watch is that yes, it does have mineral glass, it is an aluminum bezel, and it does come with a resin band. Now that's where the watch is saving on cost to make it affordable. However, the rest of the features in the watch are something to look at and something to appreciate for the value that you're spending. The watch comes in 44.2 diameter by 12.1 millimeters in thickness. So it is a little bit on the bigger side if you don't have the wrist for it. There is a smaller version for you guys to purchase. But that being said, the smaller version is not gonna have as great features that are in it. You're gonna lose some water resistance. So again, I would do your homework on the two just to make sure that that watch option is gonna fit what you're really looking for. Now. 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back, and a date wheel complication comes with this watch. So at the end of the day, the value that you're spending is going to be a great one as far as a quartz watch goes. And you would choose this watch over a mechanical watch if you're not ready to really mess around with having to wind it or worry about down the road servicing a watch and things of that nature. So it's going to be incredibly accurate. We're talking about plus or minus 20 seconds a month. And with all those great features, that watch is definitely something that I would recommend for you guys if you're looking for a quartz watch under $100. In time of filming this, you could find this watch on Amazon and it comes in a bunch of different colorways for you guys to choose from. So it's a great pickup. And if the watch really doesn't fit your wrist after getting it, Amazon's great will return. So you can always switch those options out later on. Now, when it comes to mechanical, and we're talking about a $50 to $100 budget range, it's really difficult to find many options that are out there. So with the suggestion that I'm giving you guys here today, keep in mind, that there are slim pickings. And again, I would do your homework on the watch just to make sure that it fits the build for what you're looking for. But on a mechanical watch, I would recommend a Tandereal watch. Now, specifically, Tandereal makes a watch that is a homage to the SKX007 in 10 different colorways. And you have the option to either have their icon on the dial or just have a sterile dial and with no icon at all. It's a 41 millimeter watch with 14 millimeters in thickness. It does come with a sapphire crystal. They are claiming it to be 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. But here is the one thing that I wanna give you guys with this watch especially. There has been pressure tests done with other options in their watch category and the watch did not hold up to a full 200 meters of water resistance. Now, why would I suggest this watch if I know that there's been tests already on the watch and they did fail? Well, most people who are buying a dive watch aren't exactly diving with the watch. And I'm more than confident to say that if you're just using this watch to jump in the pool, wash your hands, something that's a lot lighter, that's not going to put a lot of strain on that watch for water resistance, then you should be absolutely fine. And another reason why I'm suggesting this watch is that they use an NH35 movement, which has been used over a long array of watchmakers because that movement is a Japanese one that actually is robust and actually holds up to the test of time. Another added benefit to going this route is that later on, when you wanna start dabbling in customization on both watches, you'll have that option to do so. On the Tandereal, you could swap out the bezel, you could swap out the hands, you could pretty much swap out any piece on there that you want because it's an NH35 movement. There are so many different options that you can later on down the road, go into that watch, customize it, and not have the fear of ruining that watch had spent so much money on it because it is going to be around $60, well below the $100 submark. So that's definitely something that's a standout feature for the watch overall for you guys to add it to your collection. And the SKX007 and the 009 are extremely expensive nowadays to purchase if you're looking for it to be brand new and from originally from Seiko. So 
with those reasons in mind, I definitely recommend and say that that watch is a great place for you guys to start off on and save some money. Likewise on the Duro, if you're not happy with the aluminum bezel or the mineral crystal, you do have the option on the Duro to also swap that out with aftermarket parts. That's something that I did on my personal watch. And I have to say, after switching out the band, the bezel and the crystal, I'm completely happy with it. But if I was really looking for that budget and I wanted to leave the watch alone, I would have had no problem just wearing it the way it is. But I personally am into modifying. So for me, it is worth it to take that extra step. But I want to give you guys those two options because it leaves the door open for later on when you want to dive a little bit deeper into those mods. Even if you already own watches in your collection and you're just looking to have an affordable watch that you're not going to spend too much money on to add to it, those two watches are a great way for you guys to add to your collection. So guys, those are my two suggestions on a quartz or a mechanical watch for affordability. I'll add in the description where you guys could pick these watches up. And if you haven't seen my video on the AE1300, it's another watch that's a great affordable watch without breaking the bank. So I recommend that you guys check that out too. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Do you guys have less than $100 to spend on a mechanical or quartz watch? Well, I got just the watch for you. Stay tuned.